not an artist. I'm not trying to be an artist. <laughs> You're looking in a hole, and it's going down there, and you have that keyway in it. What do you think would happen when this lined up with the keyway? You're going to have a, and it's going to pull to that side, and your hole is not going to be a round hole anymore. So, if you are ringing a hole, and it has a keyway, you must use a spiral fluted start here and go across the over here. So it will never be in the, in the, in the keyway. So one thing to remember, reaming, you can't ream using a straight reamer on a hole that's got a keyway. And when you ream a hole, you ream clockwise. And when you take it out of the hole, you continue to go clockwise. You don't back the reamer out. You continue to go through, and when you take it out, you go back, you just keep going always clockwise. Think of it being in a lathe. You're not going to reverse that lathe to take that out. You just keep it, put it in and take it out. The same thing you're doing with your hand reaming. Hand reaming, always turn in the same direction. on the reamers? No. Um, on a hand reamer, one thing I don't think I mentioned on that one, a hand reamer, you would leave three to five thousandths if you're hand reaming, roughly three to five thousandths on a three quarter inch hole. So keep that as a sort of in the back of your mind. Uh, welding. Again, uh, welding, we use uh, a lot of safety devices. Your tanks, always kept in the upright position in, in a secured way. You'll see a lot of them will have chains around them. They'll be chained to the wall so they can't tip over. Um, you have uh, flow, backflow preventer, so that the gas can't go, uh, if it catches on fire, can't go back through the wrong way. Um, you have pressure uh, gauges on here, so it measures the pressure of the line pressure and it measures the pressure in, inside the tank. Um, they're color coded here so you can't get them mixed up. These are different threads so you can't put them on the wrong way. You've got left and right handed threads on that, you can't put them on the right or the wrong way I mean. Um, so there's a lot of safety in the welding aspect to keep things um, operating properly. When you want to start up a cutting torch, there's a procedure to go through. There's probably two or three things here that sink into your mind. So ensure you get ad uh, adequate ventilation, ensure the back, 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 flashback, Resters are installed. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher. It's ready to go. Have a work permit. Before you begin, both torches should be turned off. You should be starting with nothing. Both torches are turned, both bottles are, are turned off. Test your flint because the only thing you light oxyacetylene with is a flint lighter. You don't use 
your cigarette lighter, you don't use a match, you don't use anything else. The only thing you light oxyacetylene with is a flint igniter. Plant that in your head. Stand to the side of the regulators. Never stand in front or behind them. Open the oxygen, the green tank, fully open. So plant that in your head, not two turns, not one turn, fully open. And adjust the regulator to about 25 PSI. This is normal working pressure for uh, oxygen and another thing to plant in your mind, never exceed 50 PSI on your oxygen lines. Now you open the acetylene, the black cylinder, between a half and three quarters of a turn. And you adjust the regulator to between five and 10. And that's a regular working pressure of acetylene. Again, plant this in your mind, never exceed 15 PSI. Slowly turn the valves on on your torch, about an eighth of a turn or so and light the torch with your what? No, with your clinic knife. It's the only thing we ever use on them. And then you open your torch, your feed valves, Slowly, your um, your preheater if you're if you're burning with it. Um, make sure you get a nice sharp V, nice defined neutral flame. Um, and then if you're cutting with them, test your uh, setting. Make sure you have lots of uh, air pressure on your cutting tip. And to shut it off, you just reverse the same thing you just did and make sure you always leave your tanks in the off position when you leave an oxyacetylene set. So the next person has to do the same thing. They shouldn't have to come back and check what with what. They should start from scratch, put everything off, and do the exact same thing you just did. So there's probably one, two, three, four, five, Five, maybe six questions on us is what I would expect you to see. But this is something that, number one, if you're going to use Oculusily, make sure you know how to operate it properly. Um, but make sure you know what your maximum levels are, what not to exceed, and uh, how to open things and, and prepare for them, and what to light it with. If you're using oxycetylene, you shouldn't even have a lighter in your pocket. 